What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Hidden Bunker, Arctic Bunker. Yeah, yeah, Hidden Arctic Bunker. This is by Razzleberries. They make decent uh, uh, maps, and uh, they, their bases are normally good too. Uh, I found that sometimes, every now and then, they'll have a base that looks good, but it's missing a few things. Sometimes a good amount. This base I kind of put in the middle of things of, of having other uh, things that i think it should have as a base so it's i would real quick rate it okay first things first i, I like the entrance um if you you know i just put this here so that when we fly i can actually make it back here <laughs> if you took this right here away and you know, it would be hard for people to see it so you could you could technically hide your uh your entrance there if you wanted to but I mean I wouldn't really worry about it this is it's a big enough base for multiple people to use but it is missing some some things now the very first level you get to right here is storage none of the storage in this game has anything in it so what you see is what you get in this map but you have startup little um, farms here Pumpkins, watermelons, and I believe potatoes. Yep, potatoes and uh, wheat. These are your startup little farms. That's it. There are no, there are no cow farms. There are no sheep farms. Uh, there are no pig farms. Those you would probably have to make yourself. Here, you. I, I believe these are, you can plant, you can cut these down and plant some more if you wanted to. If not, the decoration. I never really got these that much, exactly the purpose. But I'm, I'm, if I remember correctly, I believe they're tree farms. You can cut these trees down and then regrow them there. Whoa. Next level. Now normally, they put startup armor in these, but uh, that's not the case this time around. There's, these are stands for your startup armor, but uh, they didn't put nothing in. Normally, people will put, them, when they do a map like this, they'll put leather armor that's been dyed for each one. And with some startup gear, you know, not here. And then you come across here, and this is a decoration freezer that I don't understand why it's here. Because there is a kitchen area that has a freezer as well. So it's like, why why are we having two freezers that are strictly decoration? There's nothing you can really do with this unless you wanted to clear it out and put something in here, which is what I would recommend. Otherwise, it's just a decoration there's a lot of decorative stuff in this map that I feel like they could have done away with see here's your kitchen area now it's a functional kitchen you've got furnaces here so that you can cook things and um, um, you know smelt and you've got crafting tables so it's a functioning kitchen you've got even more furnaces here but right back here is, again, another mock-up of a freezer. I, I, I don't understand why they decided to put two uh, decorative freezers in. They could have, like, they could have kept this one in, but actually did something with the other one down there, like put something else, <laughs> anything else. Maybe another farm something then over here again decorative decorative theater decorative sitting area and a bedroom now I like this because there are some bases that have been not putting beds in um, like the millionaire uh, underground bases they're really good one of the 
one of the like one things they've been missing is a bed. And it's like, well, this is a base. You want people to be able to function and sleep in the base. Granted, you can easily make a bed for yourself, but I'm like, that's the whole point of purchasing a base mod. You, you want a base that's ready to go. So, but so far, this one does have the bases covered. It has crafting tables to get you started, furnaces to get you started, and a bed. It even has a little farm, just not an animal one. You'll have to go make your own animal one. You'll have to go and make your own mine. Because there's no mine in this. Now, you have these bookshelves. <clears throat> I'm just seeing if there's anything in there. No, it's not. You have these bookshelves, but that's it. They're just bookshelves. There's no enchanting table here. Granite. You could easily go buy one, make one yourself, and then put it right here, and then it'll be ready to go. You won't have to hunt down um, bookshelves. But what's the point of not just putting an enchanting table right here? I mean, it's perfectly set up. It's got the spaces set up perfectly for it, for you to be able to put one right here, and then boom, you're ready to go. I don't understand why they didn't do that. I mean, it's nice and decorative. I think they were going for a decorative look for them. Like, you guys could have easily killed two birds with one stone and put an enchanting table right there. I mean, you square the room off for it. I guess they figured, well, they'll put it in themselves. But again, this is why people are purchasing a base mod. Again, more decoration. There is so much unnecessary decoration in this map. And I say it like that because there's things they didn't put in that you're like, okay, why did you not put that in, but then you put in a fake office? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, this is, again, just decoration. Perfect opportunity to maybe put something in there. But not, again, this, I think this whole basement is decoration. You've got a generator, what looks like design. That does nothing. It looks interesting. Excuse me. And, Locker design, a weight room, <laughs> boxing, like, like a little workout room. <laughs> again, you can't use, and showers that, again, you can't use. So, purpose, none. That's it. Like, you have a whole level devoted to decoration. There's no mine, there's no potion stations, and there's no nether root farm, no nether portal. Like there's a lot of things just missing. Like you have a startup farm that covers the basics here, but that's it. Now technically, if you can get a cow down here, a couple cows. <sighs> Excuse me. You could technically fence this off and farm them here. But, um, yeah, good luck doing that. Like I said, it's set up. I mean, I've seen a lot of bases set up like this that cover all the basics. This is strictly a basic survival base, it functions. Don't get me wrong, it functions and I think it functions well. It has everything you need to get started, but normally for these bases when you're spending money on them, I feel like they deserve, the customer deserves to get a little bit more of the basics covered. Uh, at least some of them. A potion station shouldn't be that hard to put in. An enchanting table shouldn't be hard to put in. Like not having an enchanting table to me is, is pretty bad because that's that's an easy one to put in you've got everything for it. i'm gonna sleep and then i'll show you guys the surrounding area like the kitchen here functions a lot of times i get to the kitchen area and this doesn't function but everything here looks good no nether portal no mine like you gotta give us something again normally the ones i forgive for not having are the easy ones that you're going to do right away these beds not being, if the beds weren't here, I wouldn't flip out about it. Because I, beds are so easy to make. You know, it takes literally, you can make a bed in a minute. 
you know, grab some wood, kill a couple sheep, you're done. Normally when you first spawn in, it's not hard to find sheep. <laughs> and so, I don't mind that. I don't mind the mines not being in there. I would love, I prefer it, but I won't really mind it. You won't lose points with me if there's no mine. Because sometimes, they're not, it's just not possible. But you will lose points if there's missing key functions. You've got uh, no potion stations, no enchanting table. I think that's kind of missing, messing with the, the flow of a base, especially when you see where this base is placed. Okay, so the base is placed in a very nice and unique style of um, biomes. You're in, you, it's in the ice biome. And then it's surrounded by a lot of water and islands. So here's my problem. Since it's missing so many things and it's surrounded by water, it's going to be hard to get those things that are missing. Set up those things that you want to do. Because you can't just walk out and easily be able to get to a good amount of things. You have some wood here, as you can see. So you'll be able to start, but that limits what you do now don't get me wrong if you like water building underwater building and stuff like that this is perfect and i mean it has a good variety of the other biomes are just a little further away so you'll have to go on a journey and there's a good amount of things here i counted even though there's a lot of islands around mostly islands i counted three damaged portals that you can get to them one of them's dead ahead and you spawn right next to an underwater monument also, in that little patch of desert, this desert little island here in front of us, there is a desert temple as well. So, there's a lot of startup gear that you can get to. You just gotta, oh, gotta build a boat and you gotta uh, boat your way over there. But other than that, if you like water building and island building, there are a ton of islands and a lot of them have a different biome kind of going with them. You have ice, you have desert, you have snow. You've got ton, uh, not tundra, uh, I forget where the other one, other, other biomes are, but you have a lot of, a lot of nice ones and it's basically all big islands or small islands. So it's kind of an island spawn, which some people like, I know I like looking those up when I want to do a, you know, island survival where you, where you can't leave the island challenge. So it, it is one of those things that it has its perks and there are several villages. As you can see, there's an illager tower over there too. Village there, village there. There's a lot of villages that just, they're a little further away than normal. But other than that, like I said, the map is okay. It would be better if it was better located. You know, the way it is for it being so limited, they kind of have it set up in a very difficult place. Um, when you go up, there's not too much going on. And there's a lot you're going to have to build yourself. If you plan on staying in this base permanently, if you're doing a full survival run and you want to live out of this base the whole entire time, there's a lot of things you need to add. That, um, that causes me to lose a little, that loses a little bit of points for me. But, so it, it, it's up and down for me. This is not a 100% bad, it's not a 100% good, um, I think it has a good setup, but just a lot missing and the way it's placed in the middle of water and ice, you're going to be having to go a long distance to set things up. It's not like you're in the middle of the land next to a bunch of different biomes so that you can start building other bases and building other big builds right away. You'll be going a ways to do anything in this map and that takes a lot of extra time that wouldn't be necessary if they added it. Since you kind of have a base that is kind of in the middle of nowhere, you want more stuff. You don't, you want me to be able to work out of there more. This base is screaming for more farms, screaming for more crafting tables, screaming even for a portal and a bed. It has the bed, but it like has nothing else. So that's the only thing I've got to say after that. I'm like, again, it's an okay map. 
it comes down to personal preference. If you like water building, yes, it's worth it. If you don't like water building, you don't like having to tra uh, travel a far distance to get basic things, then you're not going to like this map. So it's a kind of meh in the air. It, it does function, but I've seen, I've seen better. Definitely better, better ones. All right, guys. If you enjoyed these map reviews, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. That's where you're alerted every time we do a base reveal. Okay, dokie, okay, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. I'm Average Arcader, and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.